There it is, the Priority HXT. Sorry, I'm gonna have to stand in front of it, but there's really no other way to do this. What's up my friends? My name is Ryan Van Duzer. Welcome to my channel. I typically make bike packing videos and sometimes ultra running videos, but today we're going to be talking about the brand new, not even yet released, Priority HXT with the Pinion Smart Shift. All right, here's the two buttons. The little one makes it easier. The big one on the bottom makes it harder. Here we go. You can't even hear that, but I'm pushing it and it's changing gears. Oh yeah, and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a big puffy jacket. Well, it's Colorado and it's cold in my garage. So I've been mountain biking since the early 90s when I was in middle school. And back then I was riding only hardtails because that's pretty much all there was. There weren't really full suspension bikes out at this point. And specifically I was riding a Trek 8000, which is hanging up right here. Look at that awesome bike. We had so many good times together. So nowadays, I only ride a full suspension mountain bike on these Colorado trails because they're pretty rowdy and full suspensions makes it a lot smoother, right? So I was very curious how it was gonna feel to go back to a hardtail, what I used to ride in the 90s. And I gotta say, it was a lot of fun. I've had this pre-production bike for about a month and I've taken it on some of my favorite mountain bike trails and over to the local bike park. So right off the bat, what I really like about this bike is that it climbs really well. You know, I'm used to riding full suspensions and they don't fully lock out, so you lose a little bit of your energy when you go uphill. Not on this bad boy or bad girl. This thing is solid as a rock and it might sound funny, but I love going uphill. Most people like riding downhill, but I've always been one of those weird guys that loves charging up steep mountains. Oh yeah. Climbs like a dream. But as we all know, whatever goes up must go down. And when it's time to go down on this bike, you're going to have a lot of fun. I was pleasantly surprised at how smooth it was. You know, I was a little concerned that riding a hardtail on technical downhills would kind of buck me off. I'm used to having, you know, five inches of suspension on the back end to smooth things out. So I was a little curious about this, but it performed a lot better than I thought it would. Woo, that is fun. And a big part of that smoothness comes from these babies right here. The Fox 34s with 140 millimeters of suspension, which is five and a half inches. You know, thinking back to the 90s when I was riding, I had the RockShox Mag 21s, and those didn't even have two inches of travel. So riding mountain bikes today with modern geometry and a lot more travel allows you to go way faster. Yeah. The other components that make this a smooth ride are the wide tires. We've got a 2.6 inch beefy tire in the back, 2.5 in the front. And when you're descending down the steep stuff, there is a one up dropper combined with modern aggressive geometry. And this right here is what you call a hardcore hardtail. Woo. I mean, I'm really enjoying the 140 millimeters of travel here. But I know why you're all here. You want to hear about what makes this bike truly unique. And it's this. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, oh, oh. That's right. It's the Pinion Smart Shift. Boom. Keep hitting it. Butter smooth, butter smooth. Take it down a few. And you can fire through these really quickly. Now, as you can see, I'm spinning out. Hit the bottom one a few times. Pop, pop, pop. And now, 
Ooh, look at that, that is so cool. So this was my first time ever using e-shifting on a bike. And I gotta say, it's buttery smooth. It's like playing a video game. You just beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick step back here and explain what the pinion gearbox is, especially since it's a piece of componentry that's not on a lot of mainstream bikes. So, the pinion gearbox was invented by Porsche transmission engineers who thought, you know what? Bikes should be more like cars, where all of the gears are enclosed in a box and protected from the elements like snow and mud and other gunk that can get into a derailleur and just end your ride and cause endless maintenance. I have been using Pinion since 2018 on my Priority 600 commuter bike and since 2020 on my Priority 600X adventure bike. And I love it because it just works. It's peace of mind. I can go on an adventure for weeks at a time, months at a time, thousands of miles, and I know that it's just going to work, always. The only maintenance that you really need to do is put in new oil every year or so. I forgot to mention one of the coolest things about the Pinion gearbox. Not only is it extremely low maintenance, but there is a 600% ratio. And what does that mean? From bottom to top, there's a 600% difference. And on this one specifically, the C12, there's an 18% difference between each gear. Every time you turn the, wait, I'm doing, this is the old Pinion, because it's grip shift. We'll talk about that. This is button powered. Every time you switch a gear, you're really getting a different gear. Whereas on a lot of the traditional drive trains, there's a lot of overlap. And I gotta say, in the easiest gear with a pinion, you can ride this thing up a wall. It's pretty incredible. Here we go. Right on. Another interesting feature about this bike is the chain or lack thereof. This bike has a Gates carbon drive, which is a signature feature on all of the Priority bicycles. Why is carbon drive cool? Well, it lasts three times longer than a chain and it never needs to be lubed. Low maintenance is the name of the game here. Okay, let's talk more about the smart shift. So besides being able to shift with the push of a button, which is lightning fast, you can now shift under load. That means you can shift while you're pedaling. And that is super cool. If you're going up something really steep and you're kind of bouncing between rocks and you want to get into an easier gear, boop, you hit that button, bam. Just changed the gear there. No problem, hit it again. Boom. You can pedal under load now. Just hitting that little button, it's like, I don't even know what's happening. It's going so fast. And get this, it stays charged for about six months. So it's not something that you're ever gonna need to worry about after every single ride or even every 15th or 20th ride. This thing is good to go for a very long time. I think they say 10,000 shifts. So who is this bike for? Is it for you? Well, maybe, but you gotta be extra nice to your wife or your husband, or your mom, or your brother, or whoever in the household has the money and who's buying bikes right now. This bike is for anybody who wants to get rowdy on dirt, whether you're on a single track or going to your local bike park. This bike is just plain fun. It's quick, it's nimble, it's snappy, it's fast, it's all the things you want out of a fun, hardcore hardtail. And speaking of fun, this was the vision of the man who developed this bike, Eddie, over at Priority. So we're gonna bring in Eddie right now. So let's get right into it. You know, I've told the people about the HXT and some of the specs and all that good stuff, but uh, how and why did you dream this bike up? Yeah, um, that's a good question. And definitely, you know, I come for, like you, I come from riding hardtails and um, I love riding a fun hardtail. So that's, you know, just to give you some, uh, a little background there, I've always really enjoyed a fun hardtail mountain bike, but we've been making the 600X for a few years already. And it is the, the best way to get somebody onto a off-road capable pinion equipped hardtail to, you know, at this point. And we got a lot of feedback from customers that, hey, I wanna take my 600X on more demanding trails. 
or, you know, hey, I really want to go rip, uh, you know, some some crazy mountain bike trails on this thing, you know, uh, and the bike is capable of doing that. But, you know, we were hearing these people and it just kind of the the timing really worked out because we also found out about smart shift at about the same time that we were getting this feedback so it just made sense and we knew that pinion was working on something some way to to make the shifting more sport oriented uh you know lower effort and uh kind of uh make make it the pinion experience even better so immediately i was like we got to do a hardcore hardtail uh, because it's the best way to, you know, have fun on a hardtail is with, uh, you know, with a, a great shifting system and with a, you know, really easy to ride experience. We didn't want to just make a basic hardtail and slap smart shift on there. Um, we really pride ourselves on making bikes that are the highest spec that you can get for the least amount of money. And, you know, you also come from a mountain biking background. And so, you know, uh, that we went with the best components that we could for this thing. So, we wanted to have Fox on there because they really have had a name as being some of the highest performance uh, suspension components in the industry for a long time. And uh, we just thought this thing would look killer with a Fox fork on it. So that was that was a no brainer. And we wanted to go with a really high end dropper post, but there's also some challenges to fitting a dropper post on a pinion bike because the pinion gearbox actually takes up some seat tube real estate. So if you wanna have a long travel dropper, on your, on your pinion bike, you have to have one that's long on top, but short on the bottom. So we went with uh, one up droppers because they have the most drop per insertion length of any dropper. Uh, and having a lot of drop just really helps improve the riding experience, being able to get that seat post all the way out of the way when you're descending or getting rad on the bike. Um, you guys, if you're familiar with priority bikes, you know we spec a lot of WTV components on our bikes. We've we use them on high performance bikes, commuter bikes, and uh, they make some really nice rims and tires. So we've made sure to spec some nice high quality rims on here from WTB and uh, a really good set of tires. And we tried a lot of tires on this thing, I gotta say, before we went with the final spec, um, because you know knowing that it's a hardtail means that efficiency is important. Um, and so is bump absorption. So we wanted to put a big fat tire that's still kind of fast rolling on the back, but real meaty and grippy on the front. So that you can really aim that bike where you want to go, but not feel like that big gnarly tread is slowing you down. So uh, the tire spec was definitely something we discussed a lot on this one. And, uh, you know, we just went with a good high quality cockpit. And that's pretty much the bike right there. Everybody knows that the real highlight of this bike is the smart shift gearbox because it's in my opinion you might have heard me say this before but i think it's the best shifting system out there for a mountain bike period you know gone are the issues of clipping your derailleur on a rock having to do a mid-run adjustment on your gearing system or even pre-run for that matter you can just hop on and ride at priority we also know the benefits and durability of the gates components so like all of our bikes the uh, hxd is spec with gates, belt drive, uh, sprocket, and belt. So low maintenance there, just works. People have a lot of questions about the Smart Shift gearbox, how it rides, how it feels, uh, what the actual maintenance, maintenance is. And I think there's a lot of skepticism out there too, because uh, you know people are used to chains and derailleurs, uh, and people are also used to the regular pinion gearbox. Uh, and how low maintenance and kind of bomb proof and reliable that is. And, you know, could you really improve on it? To start with the performance side of things, um, when people ride a manual pinion gearbox, you have to work with it a little bit. Uh, if you're pedaling super hard and you try and shift, it won't really let you. You have to let up a little bit, you know, like you're driving a manual transmission car. You got to back off a little uh, to allow it to, to shift gears. And, um, you know, I think for people who are used to, uh, that kind of riding experience and working with that shifting system, it works great and it can shift really fast. You can slam through a lot of gears and you can shift while pedaling if you time your shift right. Uh, but I think it's easier for somebody who's not used to riding a manual uh, shifting pinion gearbox to hop on a smart shift bike and just go because, you know, you really, you don't really have to work with it as much. I mean, uh, you can, you, uh, it'll time the shift exactly for you. So that whole shifting under load thing, you don't really have to worry about it. 
And you still get a lot of the benefits of the pinion gearbox, which is, of course, it's totally bomb proof. Uh, you know, the only maintenance you have to do is, you know, every 6,000 miles or once a year, change your oil. Um, there is one additional piece of maintenance, of course, and that is charging it. It's a pretty big battery as far as, uh, you know, the capacity that it has. Volume-wise, it's not very big. It fits in the down tube and you don't change it. You just leave it in there and you charge the gearbox, depending on how much you ride. I mean, for me, it would probably be every four to six months because <laughs> uh, according to opinion, it's 100 hours of riding or for some people, maybe even 10,000 shifts. Working for a bike company is fun. <laughs> we make fun stuff. We get bikes that, that get people out there, put smiles on their face when they go and ride to a new destination, explore, do something that they didn't think they could do yesterday. And it comes back to the HXT too, because this is a bike that you can just hop on and you can ride a more aggressive trail. So this is a bike that appeals to people, you know, maybe different from some of our, uh, our typical customers and that they know that they want to ride mountain bike trails. And that's, you know, we make a lot of recreational bikes, bikes. We make a lot of commuter bikes. We make now adventure bikes and gravel bikes too, but now we're making serious mountain bikes and those appeal to people who want to go on serious mountain biking trails, but not have to worry about their bikes. And this is what it comes down to for priority. I mean, we define ourselves as a low maintenance bike company, which really means that you don't have to worry about your bike working, right? So that makes sense for the recreational cyclist, for the commuter, but it totally makes sense for the mountain biker too. I mean, do you want to have to worry about your bike breaking down when you're railing that rock garden, you know, booking that turn or scrubbing that berm or, or hitting a big jump? Uh, you want to be totally confident in your setup because you want to focus on the trail ahead of you. So that's what the HXT allows you to do. Oh, well, you're looking pretty good today, Ryan. Thanks, so. man. My hair looks great. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, look at that. Do you use gel? No, I don't. It's just kind of natural some days I wake up, it's a little greasy and it just kind of pops up. There you go. You know. uh, I'm imitating your style. Eddie is the man and I'm really grateful for him. He's responsible for a lot of the new visionary products that are being developed right now with Priority Bicycles. And he's the guy that I worked with in developing the Priority 600X, the adventure bike that I use on all my bikepacking trips around the world. And I'm sure some of you are asking yourselves right now, hey Ryan, are you gonna put the Pinion Smart Shift on the 600X? And the answer is no. We're gonna keep that bike simple and mechanical. Now, could you go bikepacking with this thing? For sure you could. You can also go bikepacking on a unicycle. I've seen a guy on YouTube do it. <laughs> what I'm saying is this bike isn't as optimized for bikepacking as the 600X. The 600X has much more upright geometry, so you can sit in the saddle for many, many hours and not get a sore back. This has more aggressive mountain bike geometry. It also has a front fork with way more suspension than you'd really ever need on most bikepacking trips. It also comes with a dropper. Most bikepacking does not necessitate a dropper post. But if you really want to use this for bikepacking, you can. There's actually mounts here on the back for a rear rack, so you can carry some stuff. You can put a seat pack on it, you can put a frame pack on it. You know, pretty much any bike can be used for bikepacking. If you're interested in putting in an order for this bike, it is $500 off right now. The list price is $4,000 right now. It's $3,500, and they hope to be shipping this brand new bike in January 2024, which is right around the corner. So get on it now if you want to save 500 bucks. It will go up to 4,000 at some point next year. Okay, my hands are freezing. It is time for this video to be done so I can go inside and warm up and so that you can get off your couch and go on a little bike ride. You know what I'm saying? If you have any questions about this bike, write them down there in the comment section or just write to Priority. They are extremely responsive and they will answer any question you have about this bike or any of their other bikes. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Woo! Let's take a break here just to appreciate how beautiful my hometown is. Look at that. That's my boulder.